Hello and welcome to Chili Bee Gaming. I'm Evie and today we're back with some more Starfield and last time we came here to McClure 2 to rescue Sam's ex-wife which we did um, in kind of a messy way by busting in and, and killing everybody but we've got her so it's all good. So let's get into it. Right. Come on Sam. Let's go. The Victor Compound. That's what this place was called. Very strange name. Is it Victor as in the name or Victor as in we are the Victors? Where, where, where is this woman? Talk with Lillian back at your ship. So, well, uh, okay. Sam, um, I don't know whether we looked around here. I did loot all inside of there, by the way. There was, whew, there was quite a lot of stuff. And I think we looted out here last time, didn't we? Think. I don't remember going in this building though. Can we get in here? Hello? Whee! Oh god. Oh, okay. Alright. Whoa. Ah yes, because we were up on that mountain, were we not, when we um launched our assault? Oh dear. Better we get it than someone else. Yeah. We didn't come in here, did we? Oh my goodness, I could have missed out on loot! The loot goblin within me would have been would have been in a shambles! Okay. Enough of my... my cigars. Okay. Oh, I thought that was something on the floor then. Ah. Uh, the creds. I will always take the creds. We are getting kind of... Miller's slate. Gonzalez is going to end up killing Parker one of these days. What does he think's going to happen messing with a guy twice his size? He's like an obnoxious little weasel that won't go away. Kinda hope he takes it just too far next time so Gonzalez snaps! And it ends the whole thing. I know it's a shizzy thing to say. Still, I hope it happens. Well, wow. it's kind of kind of harsh. Give me that cake. Oh, I love the cake. I do. Okay. Ugh. I thought we might as well take some snacks for up the road. I have basically eaten my way into um, topping up my health again. So, <laughs> all right. What's in here? Ooh. Oh, ship repair funder. Oh, I thought it was a. I thought it was a repair kit. Is that something we should read? Maybe I'll take it just in case. Ah, oh. what's this? Log one. Oh, we've already read this. We read this last time. I remember it was just up at the other place. Yes, we still need a bloody. Is it a repair kit? Is it called? Ah, oh. but I can't find one anywhere. If anybody has any advice as to where I can get one, it'd be great, because I'd like to go and get Betty, if I, uh, if I can. Uh, all this sorts of stuff, anything else here? Notes, keys, anything of any value? Doesn't look like it, does it? The usual old garbage. Oh, God. Oh! Boxes of... What's in here? Uh, um, nah. I'll take the, the ammo, but the pistol's no use to me. What's this? Trauma pack and a oh. Hmm. Okay. I'm still annoyed we can't take that ship, you know. It hurts me, sir. Oh, will it? No, I'll be fine. Right, okay, let's go back to the ship then and talk to... Um, talk to Lillian. Alright Lillian, let's have this discussion. Hello? This is your ship, right? It is. I hate to ask, but I'm gonna need some more assistance with my mission. Oh, okay. Are you for real? Weren't you just chewing me out about putting Cora at risk? Thanks, Sam. What if you were spotted? Either here or I assume Neon. It means the Syndicate may come after all of you. Look, calm down. The only way to get us to be really safe is to see this through. Um, yeah, it depends what you're asking. That's fair. Just like Lillian. Straight from one fire to the next. That's the job, Sam. You know that. There's a shipment of armaments coming in on a heavy freighter. The Duma. I know it's itinerary. The Duma. But I don't know where the arms are being stored. If we find the cash, we can lure out a Sayoka underboss. Valerie Mascara. Oh, she sounds exotic. Um, do you know what? Who 
is Valerie? Yeah, who is the she? The worst kind of criminal. Oh, I... She's smart. Too smart. She's convinced a number of the Sayoka to think outside the box. No. Oh. She has plans larger than Neon, and that makes her very dangerous. Oh, dear. Well, all right, let's Gladly. go. Gladly. So we get the location of the cash from the Duma. Then we make our move. Okay. Thank you. No problem. No problem at all, my dear. Let's just, uh, we're going to offload some... Hey, how are you? Hey, Hella. Do you see? Hella are always so reliable, you know. I'm just going to offload some stuff into the uh, the cargo, I think. All right. Let's uh, let's go. Safe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, kid. Chill out. We've still got more to do, you know. This is dangerous. Let's go. Order to cut your engines and prepare for boarding. This is not a request. Hello? Really, this is what we're gonna do. Oh dear. Well, alright. Let's um see if we take out their engines, eh? Whoa, bloody hell! Yep. Yes! We've got the cash location. A war captain? Alright. Let's talk. While the ship repairs itself. Hey, <laughs> it's always a good day when you come around. I know, hello, my dear. Hello. He's lovely. Alright, uh, so oh, worried about there you are. Mom. Okay, Excellent. Lillian. We know where the cash is now. Well, where? I know the top Valerie uses. It'll be very secure, and if you trip the alarm, it'll send a distress call out. I see. Okay, so... Hmm... Yeah, nothing we can't handle. <laughs> Good God. It's time we deal with Valerie once and for all. All right. Well, let's do it, baby. Andromus 3. Well, well, all right. I mean, I don't know how much of a stir this is going to cause landing here, but, well, we shall see. What are those? If it weren't for you, I don't know what would happen to Mom. I don't want... Ooh, look at these things. Why are they? I did. They're like weird little weird creatures. Might as well scan them while we can. Oh, they're weird. Look at him. Wow. Okay. All right. That's enough of that. Let's um. Let's find this bloody woman's cash. Is it like a an outpost or is it a oh? Might as well scan while we're on our way down there. What's that? Is that something? We don't know. Water? What's that? Beryllium. Valerie's got what? Okay. Bloody miles away from it, but never mind. Ooh, hello. Nothing else here? that aluminium yes that was aluminium you heard folks <laughs> that's how we say it in the UK what are you Ugh, weird that's what you are what so, ooh, your opium 
Alright, so we need to be careful approaching, do we? Otherwise we'll set a bloody alarm off. Alright, well... So, what are we... What are we... How do we... What will trigger it, I suppose? Ah, gone. Okay. Look at these things. Weird. Alright. Oh, is it over the mountain edge? Oh, of course it is. Oh, oh my god. Okay. Okay, so can we just... Yep. Ah. Is this raid? I feel like a superhero here. I'm sorry. What? It's a kind of serenity to an abandoned place like this. Mm. What's detecting us? Is it this thing? I can't see anybody else. Is this something we can we can turn off? Is is this like the the thing that will set it off? Hmm. All right. Well, I don't know what's actually seeing us at the moment. It's a bit um, weird. Right. Let's just 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 just. So that old fashioned secret door. Kinda cool. Hmm. Alright. Defeat Valerie and the Syndicate forces. Well you do know that we can't actually get in there. Look at oh, okay. Okay, there you go. Hello. Oh my god. There's quite a few of them. Should we um, get to the higher ground, I suppose? That might be the, the better option. Just saying. I mean, I don't know why they went all the way over there. That seems a little bit extreme, doesn't it? We could maybe do with something a little bit more, um, yeah, that sort of level. Wow, just drop them off and go. Jeez, didn't hang about. Okay. Can't hit them from here. There you go. We sprint over there. And then we'll just crouch on down. They ain't seen nothing. They ain't seen nothing yet. There's only four more of them. Good God. And thus far, it's been relatively straightforward. Okay. Alright. You're under arrest. Lily, and I don't think they really care whether they're under arrest, love. To be quite frank. Not to be harsh, but you know. Knock knock. Hello. Is there anybody in? Hey, I wasn't you weren't what, sorry? Didn't quite catch that. Should we... Yeah, there you go. Is there somebody else in there? I'm a-coming! Get in this. Oh, God bless it. Well, is that more of them? Is it more of them? Hello. Oh, God, there is more of them. Jeez Louise. Okay, give me this. Thank you. I don't know why that thing would just, you know suddenly decide to take off, but whatever. <gasps> whatever. I 
need to I need to get into a better position. Get the sniper's nest. Oh, look at that. Oh, God, they've got a robot as well. Damn. All right. Here we are. Space is dangerous. All sorts of places had to be abandoned for one reason or another. Oh. That's right, boys. You better run, baby. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. We all are, Lillian. Oh, really? You reckon? Thus far, we're doing pretty well. Ugh. Oh, sir. I'm so sorry. Well, I'm not. Let's be real. I'm not sorry at all. Not even slightly. Are you going to come out or what? Okay. Got my little perch right here, love. All right, it might be time to um, to start getting a little bit more up close and personal. Or maybe we should go up and get up on that ridge. Reckon? Sam, I mean, I I'd do something, mate. No? Don't want to do anything to help me here. Oh, God. Valerie Mosquera. Message to Valerie. What's this? Credits. Is that it? Are they done with us now? Are they willing to accept defeat or not? I mean, either or. Can you not? Oh, there you are, are you? Bad news. What are you doing? They just throw a grenade. Right. Is that it now? Can I loot in peace, please? <laughs> That's all I care about, you know. Loot loots. Don't give a damn about this stash. Well, I do, because I want to know what's in there, but, you know. Uh. Let's uh, talk to Lillian then. Okay. Oh no, we were going to read the message, weren't we? Let's see. Hmm. Notes. Uh, and it was message to... Valerie. Here we go. I'm sick and tired of Lillian Hart breathing down our neck, so it's time to end her once and for all. Use the abandoned supply depot on Andromus 3 and drop some breadcrumbs to lead her there. Call it a weapons cache or whatever you want. She won't be able to resist. Once she trips the alarms, have your crew jump her and kill her. That will give us one less ranger to worry about. And Valerie, don't screw this up. Or you're going to find yourself floating on the wrong side of an airlock. Well, I've saved you the job. Because um, we've done her in. All right, Lillian. What's going on? We have to deal with the syndicate before things get out of control. Sam has had a lot to say about you. Oh, yeah. I can't believe you're fine with bringing my daughter along on all your... Adventures. Oh, I'm not. And encouraging Sam with all this constellation is great for core nonsense. It's dangerous. Well, they are. You know. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I suppose it's because of Cora that we did go to Victor Compound. Fair enough. I, well, I didn't know that. I'll have to talk with her. And maybe Sam, too. Yeah. So I'm sure Sam's told you all about me. Go on. Ask whatever you want. Eh. Uh, e 
yeah, Sam told me how he joined the Rangers. Why did you help him out? Yeah. He did? That's some serious ancient history. Mm. Well, we came across what remained of the pirates that attacked him, and the way he flew. Fearless, brave, unpredictable. Mm -hmm. If there were any contraband on his ship, that would be such a waste of talent. Fortunately, any cargo he had was jettisoned in the fat. Understood? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, how did you get stuck in Victor Compound, yeah? A confidential informant was supposed to arrange transport off that rock. But I lost contact with him. I'm afraid he's dead. The syndicate got to him. Yep. And it was only a matter of time before they found me out. Mm -hmm. I owe you for the assist. Eh. So why didn't Sam know about you and Cora talking? Then? It's complicated. Oh, so complicated. Yeah. Cora's the one who reached out to me a couple years ago. Oh. We exchanged messages. Then the little scam convinced me to join a book club with her. I mean, books are fine. Mm hmm But the looks I got from my fellow rangers reading Alexander Dumas, <laughs> we do strange things for kids. Yeah, all right. Well, another time. Yeah, I have nothing else to ask you, Lillian. Is that and it? It's over. Oh, there you go. I could see why they were eager to recruit you for the Rangers. Uh, yeah. Pleasure working with you. I can see why Sam speaks so highly of you. We need to talk. I mean, really talk, Lillian. Maybe somewhere private? No, I might need a little... Damn it, emotional support, alright? Are we going to do this out here in the freezing cold, really? Uh... Yeah, all right, I'm in. Thank you. Go on. If you want to fight in front of your friend, I'm ready. Oh, please don't fight. I know you don't approve of Cora being with me. Don't you see why? If you keep this up, she could get hurt or killed or worse. Yeah, but she hasn't. She's been safe. I've been keeping her that way her whole life. And she's not a little girl anymore. She helps keep me alive, too. Hey, back me up here. Hey. This is your parents in row. It's nothing to do with me. Good God. Um, I mean, me personally, I'd leave the kid back at Constellation. It's safe there. She can be educated. There's loads of books. There's plenty of food. It's comfortable. You know. Um. Okay. Sam does everything. It's awfully dangerous sometimes. Just speaking from the heart. This is good. And, like, your life is so much... Yeah, let's not be antagonistic. Let's just say... Uh, yeah, I'll keep them both alive. You know I will. See? Doesn't that make you feel better? It actually does. There you go. I don't agree. I don't think I ever will. But I'll make my peace with it. All right? Listen, all this, this... It has to stop. Like, every time we talk, it makes me want to punch a wall. Oh, God. I don't want to be mad at you. I really don't. Lillian, I don't know if what we had was ever love. But we used to like each other. We need to get back to at, at least being civil. For Cora's sake. Eh. Uh. Why do the two of you fight for crying out loud? Good God. It always feels like you're judging me, Lillian. Like I'm not a good enough dad or good enough partner. And there's all this messy history. I don't think that, Sam. I don't. I know I can hit below the belt. But the way you turn your life around, it's impressive. Truly. See, you made an assumption that she was judging you and she wasn't. And you know what happens when you assume think about it um yeah you just do you just do you just need a fresh start for god's sake just let it all go it's no good for the kid and it's no good for me either because oh, uh, whatever yep i promise i'll try there you go i can too if we were going to be really honest here oh go on sam core and you we were always together Back when we were a team, Cora would follow you everywhere, like a little adoring dog. I just felt out of it, long before we separated. Lillian, I, um... Uh... No, no, Sam. I need to get this out. 
But it's not fair that I take that out on you. Um, sorry, all right? Eh. Takes a lot to admit, it does. Thank you. There you go. I know. It's, it's my fault, too. Truce? Truce. But I need something, Sam. I need to see my daughter more. These messages just hurt. They're such a tease. And she misses you. But Lillian, the last three times we planned something, you bailed twice. Twice. Every time you do that, it destroys Cora. And I'm the one that has to deal with it. Hmm. Uh, maybe with some baby steps you can get there. Maybe we should take it slowly. Try and work up to some visits. That's fair. And Lillian, you know I care for you, right? But you and me? I know. We were over before we even began. Look, it's none of my business, I know, but... You need to put yourself out there. And there's bound to be someone, hell, lots of someones, that would be thrilled for the complete Lillian Hart badass ranger package. Oh, Actually, I you know geez. a certain person on Neon. Oh, stop. <laughs> I'm just saying. There are people that would do right by you. There's more to life than rangering. I'll, I'll think about it. Uh... Finally, you have some closure, yeah. You give both of us a real gift. Like I didn't owe you enough already. Now it's my turn. Sam, you... You're a good dad. I know I don't say it enough, but you are. But there is more to life than being Cora's father. So same advice to you. Find someone. Maybe you already have. Well, aren't you just loving the turnabout and fair play nonsense? See you around, Sam. Okay, can we can we can we go to the ship now? It's cold out here, man. Come on. I've I've had enough of this affair. So there's no cash, there's no nothing. All I got was an episode of Jerry Springer. Oh god bless it. Alright, Sam, now we're in a little bit more of a um warmer environment. What do you say we have a little conversation? You wanna talk? Let's talk. I can't stand what you did. It goes against everything Constellation stands for. What? What I stand for. But the mission has got to come first. So keep it together. What? Is he on drugs? So you see why I like her? I mean, we were never a good fit. There we go. But Lillian's good people. Um, you weren't kidding about her being all about the job, yeah. She's full throttle freestyle ranger through and through. Yep. I got a lot to think about. You know, for the first time in ages, I feel good. <laughs> really good. Oh, good. Well, there you go. So listen, in Aquila City, there's an old haunt of mine. On a balcony near a good old statue of Solomon Co. I want to show you. And have our own real talk, okay? Maybe figure out a way to repay you. Oh, Sam, if you're thinking what I think you're thinking, it ain't happening, dude. Hey, you need something? Hey, Hella. Hella's like... Hella's like work husband. Because I can't actually have Hella. <laughs> oh, God. There we go. All right, let's go to Aquila City and uh, see what on earth Samuel wants. Oh, and here we are. In a rainy Aquila city. But that's fine. We don't mind. Ship services technician. I don't know whether my ship needs repairing some more. It seems like it does. Anything I can help you with? Yes. Hello? Sir? Need some work done? Uh, yes. Looks to me like you're already in pretty good shape. Oh, okay. That's fine. No problem. I'll, uh, I'll leave it to your business. Sam, let's go and have a look at this bloody... Whatever it is, balcony or something you want us to have a look at there. That bank robbery sounded intense. It was intense, but do you know what? We sorted it out. 
sort this out. This this is the balcony. This is How a bar. Like that laser gun? Russia's doing well for well. herself. Laredo is a big player in arms manufacture. Sam, why are you why are you in the wall? All right, here I am. Hey, thanks for coming here with me. All right. You know, I used to truly hate this place. When I was a kid, I'd throw stones at that statue. Okay. Just beamed him over and over. <laughs> Almost got arrested for it once. Eh. Uh, Solomon looks like he could take it. I can personally attest that the sculptor didn't skimp on the materials. There you go. But, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's just the post-mission glow. <laughs> I, uh... I miss the old guy. Maybe even Aquila City. A little. Mm -hmm. With all that's gone on, with what we've been through, I finally feel <laughs> at peace. What happened with Lillian at the end, not pretty. But we finally know where we stand. There you go. Whew. Well, you know. Hmm. Yeah, how did Cora take the news? Go on. Uh, not well. I mean, they'll still be able to mail each other and do vid calls. She just doesn't understand that unless you're the Free Star Collective, Lillian can't be relied upon. No, nah, well, she'll, I don't know. As she gets older, she'll probably understand it more. It was long overdue, that conversation, yeah. Yeah. And without your support, I don't think I ever would have done it. Man, there's so much. But you know, behind every lucky star that's come my way lately... I see, uh, you. I've talked with you about things no one, and I mean no one else knows. Well, your words have been a great comfort. You know, you live long enough, and you can just get covered in garbage. From the mistakes, the betrayals, misfortune. It makes it easy to lose sight of the things you should be thankful for. Well... You did all the hard work, I just listened. Yeah, that's all you did. Right. Yeah. When we met originally, and I heard you wanted to travel together, I didn't know what to think. It seemed you waltzed into Constellation so quickly and easily. I thought maybe you were like Walter's bastard kid or ward or something. I don't know whether but, I got uh, far. You know, you're pretty amazing. <laughs> Man. I can't believe I just said that. No, well, this is it. I mean, yeah, you're a pretty amazing friend yourself, Sam. Well, can't argue with that. There you go. I just want you to know, come thick or thin, hell or high water, I'm there for you. Every time. Okay, somebody's pushing me so around. So let's go, partner. And there you go. He considers me an ally. Ally, excuse me. Wah! Excuse me. That is rude. Why are we so close? Why are you so close? What the hell? Step away. Rude. Anyway. Well, Sam. There you are. You're done and dusted. So we got a hat. What's the hat? I want to see the hat. Some kind of hat or something? Uh, new items. We got a hat. I mean, I look ludicrous. So we won't be wearing that. <laughs> so there you have it, folks. Sam's quest line is done. So we may be returning to good old Constellation and getting our good lady back by our side, where she belongs. Thank you. And we are going to leave it there for today. What a note to finish on. Sam's quest done. It's time to get on with something else but what else who can possibly say so until next time be safe be good and look after yourselves